One, two, check, one, two, check, one, two. What is up, guys? You're your boy Kagi back at it again with a new video. And in this video, I bring you Rebelbots, ladies and gentlemen. This is a skill based play to earn game. Zoil Wars is a digital collectible card game which takes 10 minutes to learn and a lifetime to master. This game is backed up by Ubisoft, ladies and gentlemen. U Ubisoft came in with four million dollars to back up this team. So that is very, very interesting. This team is actually very, very experienced. The team has two founders, T800 and Hao, who have come from careers in developing highly successful mobile games and believe nfts are the future of gaming past companies the team have worked for include gameloft play tika tencent 88 and yuda games title which they had a role in designing developing and maintaining including slotomania which was which has generated over 1 billion in revenue modern combat governor of poker 3 iron blade and back Gamon Live. The team has now 26 people and two main offices based in Kiev and Tel Aviv. This is a very, very strong community. They're very, very passionate on Twitter, very, very passionate on Discord. They always tag me. They always, you know, that is how I came about this game, honestly. Zoho War is a digital collectible card game. It uses strategy mechanics popular with millions of players from games such as Hearthstone and Axie Infinity. Players will be able to learn quickly but must hone their skills and continue to upgrade their teams in order to win battles players can earn in multiple ways including winning adventures and multiplayer battles which will generate zoil token prices minting and selling fighting bot nfts on the market of course winning season rewards by ranking high on various leaderboards so let's jump into the game economy we got the coil which is the game reward currency earned from winning pbe and pvp completing daily challenges and winning kingdom prices used for buying parts and minting fighting bots. So the bots that you're going to use in game are actually very, very complex. They have five parts and, you know, combining different parts is what makes the robots go into synergy. So there's a lot to learn in this game. It might be simple in the in terms of the card game, you, you know, you click and whatever, but, you know, combining all these robots together plus the parts, that is where it gets complicated. And of course, the coil um, actually has a utility here, something that we haven't seen in many, many games, right? Where the, the actual currency that you earn in game doesn't have that extra utility. In this game, it does right from the start. It has a utility. You need them to buy parts, to upgrade parts in your robots. So it's very needed within the game. The Rebels token, which is earned by winning season leaderboard prizes and special giveaways, or you can buy it in the market, of course, used for minting fighting bots and purchasing lands. There's also lands, very, very, very important. And we're going to go into the lands because the land part is actually very, very interesting. All right. So this game has three types of NFTs. You got the Rebel Bot NFT, which is the Kingdom Governance Role non playable character this character was dropped a few months ago and this character has a lot of value is it is not a playable character but it does have a lot of value within the game it actually uh, earns you passive revenue because these bots are actually kingdom lords right so every single land owner needs to be under a kingdom so the kingdom lord actually makes a passive revenue of everything that is generated through the lands so that is very very interesting and on top of that this nft actually gave you the ability it gave you the ability to buy the rebels token before anybody else they incentivize the community right off the bat and that is powerful that is powerful not a lot of games do that the land nft is coming very very soon each player needs one land nft to build their base within a kingdom so you need a land to build a base they're going to be super super cheap um, at the beginning so um, it's going to be accessible to a lot of people it's going to be accessible to a lot of people and then we got the fighting bot nft playable characters used to battle in teams of three now the land right here as you can see it actually brings three bots so they're not only selling you the land but right away they're giving you three bots three nft bots so you can actually go and play the zoya wars public land so will be launched prior to the game release so this is coming i think by the end of this month there's going to be 130,000 land plots will be available for sale at an affordable price i swear it's going to be affordable all right they want people to come play they want people to come play they're, they're not trying to do this paywall this super super paywall um right off the bat right the paywall basically is going to come from the players if one of those lands are super super valuable 
valuable. One of those robots that you build and you rank up over time becomes super, super valuable, then that's it. You know, that, that's basically the player economy kind of deciding the prices. But they're not going to, you know, they're not going to go insane with these prices. Now, I am personally going to buy a bunch of lands. And since the lands also bring the bots as well, I'm actually going to buy maybe from 200 to 500 lands because I am going to use this game as a scholarship in my juice team ladies and gentlemen so i am going to buy this um whether i like the game or not in terms of at a personal level if i want to play it or not it doesn't matter to me i think this game has a lot of potential and i want to run a scholarship in this game and of course i'm going to do tutorials into how to play the game and everything but i'm not sure if i'm gonna be playing every single day as a player you know and of course i have so much so many things to do now but anyways um the land nfts the initial land sale is in march 2022 lands will be be affordable for players every land will be sold will include three fighting bots nfts so players can start playing as soon as the game is launched every land nft is part of one of the rebel bot nft kingdoms so as you can see right here um every single land pertains to one of the rebel bot nft kingdoms so these are the rebel bot nfts and they're gonna have their kingdom so if you have one of these 10,000 nfts you're going to be part of a kingdom and as a player, you're going to have to pledge allegiance to one of these kingdoms, of course. So these NFTs are actually going to generate some passive revenue out of the land players. So that is actually very, very interesting. And as you can see, you can see the breakdown right here, the revenue share. And I'm going to leave the white paper down below so you guys can actually understand all of this if you want to read through it. Now, each base will consist of various buildings. You got the headquarters, communicate with other kingdom players. You got the barracks, train your fighting bot team. You got the bots factory, build new fighting bot and store parts. You got the Zoil, silo, purify and store Zoil. You got spark capacitator, store spark. You got the parts shop, buy and trade parts. And then you got the Intel command, get updates about the game. Now, my understanding of this is that this is probably going to be something like Clash of Clans or something, something like that where you you're doing resource management um and then you have to upgrade your buildings and stuff like that so, to to keep up so if you want to do anything with your bots you have to you need to have the land up to date right whatever that means in the future of the game um I, we don't have the mechanics yet of how the land is going to work but as you can see right here it says barracks train your fighting bot team so i, I can only imagine like okay let's say there's like five levels of barracks right so if you have level five maybe you can train your fighter quicker i mean that, that's what that's what it sounds like to me that's what it sounds like to me all right so let's take a look at the fighting bot nfts fighting bots are the playable nfts in a 3v3 pb and pvp battle you can mint new fighting bots in the factory by collecting parts and combining them parts can be collected from winning battles so you're actually winning this parts and buying them in the shop each fighting bot needs five parts you got the head you got the torso you got the left arm you got the right arm and the legs each card part has a skill and rarity when minted together they create a unique fighting bot there are three classes of fighting bots military industrial and engineers each season new parts cards will be added so players can continue evolving their team if you want new fighting bot or to sell a fighting bot you will be able to list them in the rebel bots marketplace nice last but not least ladies and gentlemen we have the governance token sale coming very very soon so this is going to be on march 7th and it's going to be on gate.io now this is a centralized platform this is an exchange so right here you would basically make an account in gate.io if you guys want to be part of this i'm sure you're going to be able to buy it in a decentralized exchange after the fact of course it's always going to be available in a decentralized exchange but the launch is going to be on gate.io io so as you can see right here this is going to happen in one day and 11 hours so as soon as it launches right here you can deposit usdt and then boom just put the amount of um rebels that you want to buy um it's going to start i believe at 10 cents if i'm not mistaken now, this game has a lot of potential in my opinion so i am going to invest in this game i'm going to invest tokens and i'm also going to get into the land the land for me is the most important one because i actually want to run a scholarship on this so i'm probably gonna buy 200 to 500 lands so there's gonna be a lot of scholars so remember every single land will bring three bots and you need three bots to actually go into battle so you can actually rent them there's going to be a renting mechanism just like something like pegaxi there's gonna be a dashboard where you can actually lend this um uh, nfts to players 
with a percentage split, which is one of the best things that this market has in general. I mean, the crypto market, the, the NFT gaming market. Now, um, a lot of games are going to do that because it just makes sense, right? You buy the assets and then you rent them at a split um, percentage. And then anybody that wants to play the game can go ahead and, you know, enjoy the game if they like the game without having to put money up front. So this is going to happen right here, Gate.io. And anyways, guys, make sure you check this game out. See if it's something that you want to be part of, either as a gamer, either as an investor. I'm going in more as an investor because I'm running this big ass guild now. And I'm very, very excited to onboard RebelBots, to be honest. I'm very, very excited. Um, you know, we got Pegaxi, we got other ones. But, you know, RebelBots looks like one of those that I have to get in as a guild. And I'm definitely going to get in. Definitely going to get in. So uh, make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe. And make sure you follow me on Twitter. Make sure you follow the Juice team on Twitter as well. All the links in the description. And, of course, um, all the links for the game, the white paper, everything, the Discord for this game. Make sure you follow them, the strong community. Um, any questions you guys have, you can go to the Discord and everybody will answer there. It's a very, very strong community, very nice community. And there's a lot of information in that community. So they will provide you with any, everything you need. So I'll see you guys next video. Peace.